Hey everyone, my name's Adam Repos Vox, and in this video I'll show you how to take your Logitech webcam video from this to this. A lot of the Logitech webcams, when you first set them up, do not have the best settings. Even if you have great lighting, you can wind up with some fairly choppy or not so great looking footage. Now, on some of the webcams, you can control a lot more than you can on the current camera that I'm working with. So I'm going to walk you through setting up a Logitech webcam to make to get the best results out of it because when you first set them up the auto settings are never super great. Now I'm using the Logitech C930E webcam here which is the one I have set up here in my studio but the same settings will apply pretty much to all of them you'll just need to custom tweak them for your setup. Uh, such as the C920, some of them will also give you more options, but the general principles of play around with them and get them to work still apply. So one quick note is a webcam like the Logitech C930E or B920 or C920C, they will not really work with Logitech webcam software. They are limited in resolution and frame rate. However, a quick note, if you do want to use Logitech webcam software, make sure you bump up the quality to lossless and the audio to best quality 48 kilohertz there to and bump up your microphone input level to get the best possible results. However, again, with the business grade webcams, we are quite limited in the resolution and frame rate that it will record, and Logitech webcam software in general tends to only want to record 15 frames per second these days. So if we go over here to video and widescreen, I can only set it to 720p. And it doesn't give me any other options other than autofocus. And if we tell it to record here, actually we do have an advanced settings, and that will pull up what we will use in a minute. But if you set it up default, it is, it is choppy as hail. It is ridiculously choppy. It's not recording at the moment for some reason, not 100% sure why, but it is the choppiest thing I've ever seen. And that's due to some of the advanced settings. However, to get the best possible result, we are gonna flip over here to OBS Studio, a third party program to record this webcam at full 1080p 30 frames per second. Now I've already created a scene here with just the automatic settings, but if you've not used it, I do have a plethora, like 30 to 40 tutorials on OBS and OBS Studio, playlist link in the card icon and description, but you make a scene and you go over here and click add video capture device and then it will pop up this menu. You choose Logitech Webcam C930E. Now by default, it's going to say device default for resolution and frame size, which is going to be 4x3 image that we do not want here. So instead, we're going to go ahead and click under resolution FPS type, go to custom. We're going to set it to 1920 by 1080. FPS needs to be set to 30. But that's not where it starts. As you notice here, it's still pretty choppy. It's really, really choppy. So first and foremost, I do also want to touch on uh, your, your actual canvas settings in OBS also need to be set to 1920 by 1080 and 30. So it's still choppy. So if we record this real quick, this is a chest. This is a chest. It looks horrible. So I'm going to hit stop recording. You'll also notice that there's no audio to it. For whatever reason, the basic means of capturing audio from the webcam through OBS doesn't work. However, if you just add the webcam as your microphone in the audio settings here, and then assign that to be one of the things, you can see the audio levels are right there. It's working out. Don't know why that's happening. So then in your mixer, just make sure mic slash aux is set to track one and ignore the rest pretty much uncheck anything else on track one so to make it look better we're going to go ahead and click configure video and this is where we're going to disable most of the auto crap so we're going to disable white balance you can set it to whatever you want i have a white card here or you can use like a white piece of paper or something to set the white balance to look natural that way everything looks not too blue not too yellow not too green and Uncheck pretty much any box that has auto next to it. You can manually adjust brightness contrast. I'm gonna leave it about where it was. I'm gonna up the contrast a little bit. You can mess with saturation, sharpness, all that jazz. But the big thing is uncheck the auto boxes because the webcam can't actually handle the automatic filtering. It drops the frame rate a lot. Then click apply and then go over here to camera control and leave autofocus on if you want autofocus, but uncheck auto exposure and then you can manually Play with the exposure yourself you only have a few options here to see what looks best for you and then uncheck low light compensation click apply and click ok 
still a little bit choppy. Now, if you're now if you're on Windows 7, Windows 8, or older versions of Windows 10, it should be totally fine as is. However, on the latest Windows 10 anniversary update, they've actually disabled the codec that this webcam actually supports, resulting in some poor performance. So in your OBS settings here, go down here to video format and choose MJPEG. YUV2 does not perform well, but if you choose MJPEG, you'll notice immediately it's sped right up. It's immediately catching up on the frame rate. That is a full 30 frames per second. You can change the color space to whichever you want or leave it on any. There's pretty much no difference. And with color range, you get partial or full. Again, no real effect here simply because the uh, we're not using the YUV codec in the first place. But on MJPEG, we're now getting 1080p, 30 frames per second with a much cleaner image. No auto adjusting going on, no craziness happening. And if we hit record, start recording. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Adam Marie Fox. Welcome back to another webcam video. It looks a lot better. So takeaway is turn off the auto settings and change the codec. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Let me know if you want to see this applied to other specific webcams if you can't figure it out. Again, the big thing, don't use Logitech webcam software and disable pretty much all of those auto checkboxes under configure webcam. Do hope you enjoyed. See you next time. My name has been Adam Maripos Fox and my throat hurts. I've been recording all day, so I'm going to go eat me some soup or something and maybe play a game or two for a little bit. I have a little time to kill. Bye bye Wow, that failed. Buh bye I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.